Hey you guys, it's been quite a day. I'm at the ER right now. My mom's supposed to have surgery on Wednesday. And so in preparation for that surgery, she had to get off of her heart medication for seven days. So she's here because she's been having a lot of chest pains and spasms and I'm just waiting for her. She's had two EKGs and an ultrasound. Now they're doing a CAT scan to see how she's doing. They're trying to figure out what the pain is being caused by. So the CAT scan is the next test they're going to do. So I'm still up here at the hospital. They are doing tests on my mom. They're gonna end up admitting her because they're not sure what's causing the pain. So looks like we'll be here overnight. So I'm coming just to get some things out of my car to get comfortable in the meantime. I forgot to say. So I went to the cafeteria to get something to eat for dinner and I was coming back and I got lost. I couldn't find my way back to my mom's room. So I ran into the nurse who was just in there helping my mom. So I asked her, hey, can you help me get back to my mom? And she was like all confused, like she'd never seen me before. And where? ER? I'm thinking, are you serious? It's been 10 minutes and you forgot who I am, y'all? Like, come on now. Well, we finally made it to her room. It's nice and spacious too. And she gets one all to herself. The patient is still in pain, y'all. They still don't know what's wrong. But she's in her own room now, and they'll keep her overnight for observation. She's not actively having a heart attack, which is a good thing. So they are going to keep her overnight just to make sure she doesn't start to have an active heart attack. If she does, she's in good hands. But right now, they're still trying to figure out what's going on. So because she's in the hospital and she's having these pains, there's a good chance her surgery is going to be postponed again. So we don't know that she'll ever even have this surgery at this rate, but the most important thing is that she feels better. Day two, my mom spent the night in the hospital last night and uh, they released her today but she's still having the chest pains. They don't know what's causing it. They've ruled out her heart, so that's a blessing, but they don't really know what's causing the pain at all. So she's being discharged and she's going to be going to her primary care physician now, I guess, to see what they can figure out. I'm on my way to go pick her up right now. She said she's uh, the same. She went in with the pain, she's leaving with the pain so crazy y'all I wish they could find out what's wrong oh her ser her surgery is definitely canceled because she can't have surgery with pain so we don't know when that's gonna be the first thing is to get her out of this pain before we can go on to the next step I'm here to get my mom from the emergency room and uh, take her to the crib I'm at HEB getting my mom's prescription filled. She's at home now trying to rest. I had to work today. I had two interviews to do and only one showed up. So it was kind of a still a long day though because I have all these deadlines to do to, to meet. So at least I made them I made it happen. Man, the whole hospital experience is so stressful. You know, you want to make sure your loved one's okay and asking the right questions and dealing with all of that stuff in the hospital. So I'm glad my mom is at home. I'm like super tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. I was at the hospital very late. And then I had to get up to be at work at seven today. And I didn't, I left to go get my mom from the hospital as I mentioned. And then I went back to work and I stayed there until um, 7.30. I forgot to say, when I was in HEB picking up the prescription, Somebody was at the register and they were paying for their prescription plus all these groceries y'all. I was like Really? It's after work. There's a line behind you. There's nobody at the other registers I mean, I'm not gonna say I've never done that before, but I'm, I took a video of uh, The stuff that this person was buying It wasn't like, yeah, I got one other item plus my prescription. They had groceries, y'all. Meat, milk, sodas, canned foods. I mean, it wasn't like a basket full, but come on. 